First alert meteorologist Jeff Ray, uh, it is hot today, was a whopper, uh, but not as hot looking in the days ahead for some, I guess, not everybody though. Not everybody, but there is some relief. All those weather alerts and excessive heat warnings slide a little bit to the west. They're still in North Texas. That's why we have a weather alert out for tomorrow because of the heat. Now for most of the Metroplex, it is going to be a heat advisory instead of an excessive heat warning, but you go into Parker Johnson County, with there's going to be another hot day in store for for almost all of North Texas. There's going to be heat problems, save for our eastern half or eastern third at least where we do have some relief starting to show up. Eventually all of us are going to see some less in these hot temperatures, but a few days away from that. The high today, 107 DFW, one of the higher marks for cities across the state of Texas. Uh, it looks like tomorrow, 101, the forecasted high, at least for the DFW area. So again, some relief, a little bit less uh, edge off that heat at least, but we're going to have these alerts, in fact, from noon till 9 p.m. tomorrow. Now, Excessive heat warnings continue in our western counties and temperatures there, you know, they're going to exceed 105 degrees. The heat advisory for most of the Metroplex highs tomorrow look like this kind of to explain it. There is a weak front that's going to stall out over North Texas in the afternoon tomorrow. This is the hot side of it. You can see another very dangerously hot day. And then on this side, you see numbers a little bit lower, including in Sulphur Springs and Paris. You're talking about low 90s. Now, here is your hour by hour forecast for tomorrow. If you plan to cross your day, a lot of sunshine. We have temperatures in the low 80s, so you get some relief in the morning, but it's a little bit more humid. The air is a little bit drier in the afternoon, but it is much warmer with the forecast high temperatures 100 degrees plus. You can make out in the vapor loop here. What we're seeing is this front coming in right there. So that's bringing in, yes, a briefly higher humidity, but the cooler air as well. So as we take a look at this on the future cast, you're going to see this weak front stall over North Texas, and it's going to be here for a couple of days. And this again will be hotter weather on the west side of it, and we get that little bit of relief. Yeah, a little bit of relief, 101 tomorrow. But we will have actually a little bit better temperatures than that ahead. We'll have a couple more 100 degree days this week. I know a lot of people are in the practice in the afternoon and we're going to have temperatures by the weekend upper 90s. I wouldn't say that's cooler weather, just a little bit better. And one of the main reasons is this, this tut is what we call it. And that is going to be this upper level low that's going to bring some moisture into North Texas. And what that does is bring us a small rain chance. Now, right now, we'll leave it at 10% for Monday, but I think there's a good chance this improves, especially as we get deeper into next week. Doug?